Imagine a misty morning on the rugged coast of Ireland, waves lapping grey against ancient stones. In that mist lies a story older than the castles, older than the legends. A story written not in scrolls or oral lore, but in DNA, the blueprint of life, passed down through generations. Today we journey into that blueprint, into the hidden chapter of the Irish story. We'll explore what scientists have uncovered. Migrations, mixing, even genetic burdens. This is the story of how the Irish people are shaped. By time, by movement, by chance. Chapter 1. The Land and the People Ireland, with its rolling hills, lush fields and misty skies, conjures images of timeless beauty. Its landscape is dotted with ancient tombs, castles and villages, all steeped in history and myth. This image, however, only tells part of the story. Beneath the green countryside lies a deeper narrative, one written in the very DNA of the people who call this island home. Dan Bradley, a leading geneticist at Trinity College, Dublin, offers a fascinating perspective on this. He explains that the genetic makeup of the Irish people is a reflection of centuries of migration and mixing. As he puts it, this degree of genetic change invites the possibility of other associated changes, perhaps even the introduction of language, ancestral to Western Celtic tongues. What this means is that the people we now identify as Irish did not always belong to this land. Thousands of years ago, the first settlers arrived in Ireland. These early people didn't originate from the island itself. Their DNA shows clear signs of migration from distant lands, specifically the Middle East and Eastern Europe. This migration wasn't a single event, but a series of waves over millennia as different cultures and peoples moved across Europe and into Ireland. These early settlers brought with them new ways of living, farming, animal husbandry, and the building of permanent homes. Over time, their genes mixed with those of other groups, creating the genetic foundation of the Irish people we recognise today. So while the faces of modern Irish people might seem familiar, their ancestry tells a tale of much broader connections across time and geography. Chapter 2. Ancient Migrations, Ancient Settlers To understand the Irish people of today, we must look back in time, to a period known as the Neolithic era, about 5,000 years ago. It was during this time that the first farmers arrived in Ireland, dramatically changing the landscape and way of life on the island. These early settlers were not the hunter-gatherers who had roamed the land before. Instead, they were part of a farming revolution that had begun in the Fertile Crescent, the area we now recognise as the cradle of agriculture, stretching across parts of modern-day Iraq, Syria and Turkey. Archaeologists and geneticists have uncovered the remains of these ancient farmers, including a significant find near Belfast at Ballinahatty. Using advanced whole genome analysis, scientists at Trinity College Dublin were able to piece together the story written in the bones of these early settlers. What they discovered was both fascinating and unexpected. These farmers didn't look like the stereotypical red-haired Irishman we might imagine. Instead, they had black hair and brown eyes, a reflection of their roots in the Middle East. They brought new agricultural practices with them, cereals, cattle, and tools that would lay the groundwork for the island we know today. But the story doesn't end there. Around 4,000 years ago, another wave of migration occurred. This time it was the Bronze Age settlers from the Pontic Steppe, in what is now Eastern Europe. These newcomers brought with them advanced technologies, copper mining, gold working, and also new genes including one variant that has been linked to hemochromatosis, a genetic condition causing the body to retain excessive iron. This condition became so prevalent in Ireland that it has earned the nickname the Celtic disease. With each migration, the genetic makeup of the Irish people became more layered and complex. Hunter-gatherers, Neolithic farmers and Bronze Age metallurgists, all blending together to form the foundation of modern Irish identity. Chapter 3 a genetic map of Ireland. As we move closer to modern times, scientists have been able to create an intricate genetic map of Ireland, one that reveals how the DNA of the island's inhabitants has been shaped by ancient kingdoms, migrations and borders over thousands of years. This map, crafted through cutting-edge genetic research, has provided fascinating insights into the deep layers of Irish ancestry. A key piece of this research was a landmark study led by Giampiero Cavalleri, and his team at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. The study focused on the DNA of 526 Irish individuals 
providing a detailed look at how genetic patterns vary across the island. What they discovered was striking. The genetic clusters they identified mirrored the ancient divisions of Ireland into four distinct kingdoms, Connaught, Linster, Munster and Ulster. These regions, once home to different cultural and political groups, now appear to be reflected in the genetic makeup of their modern descendants. But perhaps even more surprising were the traces of Viking ancestry scattered across the island, particularly along Ireland's west and north coasts. These genetic signals, which match groups from Norway, offer clear proof of the lasting impact the Norse Vikings had on Ireland. The Vikings, who began raiding and settling in Ireland over a thousand years ago, left behind a genetic fingerprint that still lingers in the Irish population today. These discoveries are significant for several reasons. They not only shed light on the complex history of Ireland's inhabitants, but also have practical implications. By understanding the genetic clusters that match ancient regions, scientists can help identify regional health risks, trace family origins, and deepen our understanding of Irish cultural identity. For example, an Irish-American researcher exploring their DNA results might now see a clearer connection to the ancient kingdom of Munster, or even trace a surprising Viking lineage. This genetic map helps answer questions about ancestry that were once shrouded in mystery. Chapter 4 The Dark Secret – Genetic Burdens Beneath the Beauty While the story of Irish ancestry is one of rich heritage and complex migrations, it also carries a darker, less spoken about legacy – genetic burdens that have been passed down through the generations. These genetic variants, hidden beneath the beauty of the island's landscape and its vibrant culture, are not just part of history, they impact the lives of many Irish people today. One of the most well-known of these genetic conditions is hemochromatosis, sometimes referred to as the Celtic disease. This disorder, which causes the body to absorb too much iron, was introduced into the Irish population by Bronze Age migrants from the Pontic steppe around 4,000 years ago. Over time, this gene variant became prevalent among the Irish, especially in the regions that saw the most migration. Hemochromatosis can lead to serious health issues, including heart problems, liver damage, and even diabetes. To those aged 50 and above, this may hit close to home. You might recognise patterns in your own family, perhaps a relative who struggled with these conditions, even without ever knowing the genetic cause. But hemochromatosis is not the only genetic burden that the Irish carry. Other hereditary disorders such as cystic fibrosis, celiac disease and galactosemia are more common in Ireland and Northern Britain than in many other parts of Europe. These conditions are part of the same genetic fabric that has shaped the Irish people over thousands of years. As Michelle Z. Donoghue reported in National Geographic, the genetic atlas revealed the Irish have higher rates of cystic fibrosis, celiac disease and galactosemia. This is the less celebrated side of Irish DNA the inherited challenges that come from centuries of mixing and migration. While Irish heritage is often celebrated for its resilience and cultural richness, these genetic burdens serve as a reminder that our ancestry is not just about stories of beauty and strength, but also the complex biological legacies that shape our lives in ways we may not fully understand. Chapter 5. Identity, Migration and the Black Irish Myth The term Black Irish has intrigued people for centuries. It's often used to describe individuals with dark hair, dark eyes and a deeper complexion than what is commonly associated with Irish people. The myth suggests that these physical traits might be the result of Spanish Armada survivors washing up on Ireland's shores in the late 16th century, or, alternatively, a throwback to ancient Celtic roots. Over time, this idea has taken root in popular culture, becoming part of the Irish identity narrative. However, science offers a more nuanced view. Recent genetic research has debunked the notion of a black Irish genetic clan, revealing that the truth is far more complex. Studies show that about 20% of Irish men in specific regions carry Viking ancestry. These genetic markers suggest that the black Irish look likely has more to do with the mingling of ancient populations rather than any single dramatic historical event like the arrival of the Spanish Armada. The Vikings, who raided and settled along Ireland's coastlines, left a lasting genetic imprint that is more widespread than many might have imagined. The myth of the Black Irish as a distinct and isolated genetic group oversimplifies the history of Ireland's population. 
In reality, Irish DNA is a mosaic, a blend of many different waves of migration, including the Celts, Vikings, Normans and others. This mix of ancestral roots reflects Ireland's diverse and often turbulent history, with different cultures and peoples coming and going over millennia. For many families, however, the black Irish label holds personal meaning. It might evoke memories of a grandmother with dark hair and olive skin. For those who carry these traits, the question often arises, where did this come from? The answer lies in the ancient migrations, the island's geography, and the chance genetic inheritance passed down through the generations. The black Irish look is, in truth, a reminder of the complex and layered story that shapes Irish identity. Chapter 6. The Hidden Power of Ancient DNA In recent years, advances in ancient DNA technology have transformed the way we understand our past. What was once relegated to myths and speculation can now be studied with the precision and rigour of modern science. Researchers at institutions like Trinity College, Dublin and Queen's University Belfast have made groundbreaking discoveries by sequencing the genomes of ancient humans from Ireland. Among these remains were the DNA of a Neolithic female farmer and three Bronze Age males, remnants of people who lived thousands of years ago but whose genetic stories are only now being fully understood. Professor Dan Bradley, a key figure in this research, calls this process genetic time travel. By studying these ancient genomes, scientists have been able to trace the arrival and establishment of what is known as the core insular Celtic genome around 4,000 years ago. This finding is significant, as it helps us understand the genetic foundations of the Irish people. Long before recorded history began, it shows how early humans from the continent settled in Ireland, bringing with them their farming practices, technologies and unique genetic traits. Imagine this. Thousands of years ago, a person lived in Ireland. They farmed the land, raised cattle, shared stories around the fire and passed on their knowledge and culture. Today, the DNA of that individual, someone whose life we can only dream of, has been unearthed and connected directly to you. Yes, you, the person reading or listening to this today. The fact that their genetic imprint can still be found in modern Irish people is a profound connection that links past to present in a way we've never had access to before. It's a reminder that we are not merely inheritors of stories. We are inheritors of life itself, passed down through our genes over millennia. That, indeed, is the hidden power of ancient DNA. Chapter 7. What this means for health and heritage. First, consider the health implications. Knowing that your ancestors carried certain genetic variants can help you better understand your own health history. For many, this could mean reflecting on family patterns, perhaps conditions that have appeared in multiple generations, or health issues that seemed unexplained for years. While genetics doesn't determine our fate, it offers important clues. For example, if your ancestors carried a gene variant associated with conditions like hemochromatosis or cystic fibrosis, you may be more likely to carry the same genes. This awareness allows you to be proactive about your health, consult with doctors, and make informed decisions about screening and prevention. Understanding your genetic background doesn't guarantee you will experience these conditions, but it certainly empowers you to manage your health with knowledge. Second, genetic research adds depth to our understanding of heritage. Many of us identify as Irish or of Irish descent, whether we live in Ireland or far beyond its shores. But Irish identity is not a singular story. It's a tapestry woven from many threads. The Neolithic farmers, Bronze Age migrants, Vikings and Normans, among others. This genetic history paints a picture of a people whose roots are deeply interconnected with various cultures and histories. By understanding that the Irish identity is a rich and multifaceted story, we can appreciate the diversity that makes up what it means to be Irish today. Lastly, there's a profound sense of connection. For those of you living in North America, Australia or other parts of the world, with Irish ancestry, you may feel a strong link to the land your ancestors came from. It's not just a cultural connection, there's a biological one as well. The Irish DNA Atlas has revealed that genetic signatures from ancient Ireland persist across centuries, showing that despite the miles, the centuries and the generations, the Irish genetic footprint remains present in the diaspora. This connection transcends geography and speaks to the enduring legacy of ancestry, 
no matter where in the world you may live. Chapter 8. The Darkest Secret. Reframed. When we speak of the darkest secret of the Irish, we are not referring to anything shameful, but rather to an unvarnished truth. Genetics carries both light and shadow. The Irish story is one of resilience, pride and beauty, but it also includes the burdens of disease, migration and survival. For every song of joy, there is a struggle hidden beneath the surface. This secret is not so much something to fear, but a reminder that we are all more complex than we seem. Our DNA holds stories that may never have been told. Stories of hardship, survival, and sometimes even suffering. These hidden histories are not to be ignored, but embraced. As Dan Bradley, a leading researcher in the field of ancient DNA, once said, it is clear that this project has demonstrated what a powerful tool ancient DNA analysis can provide in answering questions which have long perplexed academics regarding the origins of the Irish. This research opens a window into a past that is not just about beauty and triumph, but also about struggle and endurance. In understanding the full story of our genetic makeup, we can see the Irish history more clearly, both the joyful and the challenging parts. This understanding not only helps us appreciate the complexities of our heritage, but it also gives us deeper insight into who we are today. By knowing where we've come from, we can better navigate where we are going. The darkest secret is not one to hide, but a truth to be revealed, understood, and celebrated as part of our shared journey. Chapter 9. Stories from Irish Families Picture a family in County Donegal, nestled in the rolling hills of Ireland. Grandfather always had dark hair, while grandmother was fair-skinned, and their children all had striking red hair. For years, the family believed they had Spanish Armada ancestry, passed down from survivors who had washed up on the Irish shores. But when they took a DNA test, the results revealed something unexpected, strong Viking markers. Not only that, but they also discovered that an ancestor had carried the gene for hemochromatosis, a condition known as the Celtic disease for its high prevalence in Ireland. With this knowledge, the family faced tough medical decisions, but they also found a new sense of pride in the complexity of their heritage. Their story was no longer just about the past. They saw how their ancient genetic legacy was influencing their lives today. Now, consider an Irish-American woman in Boston whose family proudly carried its Irish lineage. She'd always believed she was the quintessential Celt, green eyes, pale skin, and a proud connection to Ireland's past. But when she took a DNA test, the results told a different story. While she did trace her roots back to a small village in Munster, her genetic profile aligned more closely with Ulster. The study of Irish DNA has shown how regional differences can shape family histories, even when they are geographically distant. These personal stories matter because they remind us that behind every statistic, there is a human life, a story of discovery, pride, and sometimes surprises. For those of you listening, perhaps some of your own family stories echo these discoveries. Our DNA carries more than we know. It connects us to past generations in ways we're only beginning to understand. In our journey through Irish DNA, we have seen waves of farmers, waves of migrants, genetic legends, and real burdens. The greatest secret is that nothing is simple. The Irish story is human, complex, beautiful, shadowed, shining. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any stories you'd like to share.